It is the honor of a lifetime to be the first to welcome you to the Steve Jobs Theater. Memories have especially come rushing back, but we can now reflect on him with joy instead of sadness. His greatest gift, his greatest expression of his appreciation for humanity would not be a singular product. We dedicate this theater to Steve because we loved him and because he loved days like this. Steve's vision and passion live on here at Apple Park. We honor him. <laughs> Start moving in Apple Park later this year. But of course, such a large move is really more of a process. Apple Park has been built to reflect Apple's values for both technology and the environment. Apple Park is designed to be seamless with nature. It's open, transparent, it brings the outside in. And in fact, we have one of the world's largest on-site solar installations right here, where you can learn more about Apple Park, its design, and its innovations. That designs Apple Park also designs our largest retail stores around the world. But it's funny, Places where everyone's welcome and where all of Apple comes together. And this summer, to turn on these new features, we've launched Today at Apple. Our in-store experience designed to inspire customers to go even further with their passions. So that's a brief highlight of just a couple of things we've been working on. And as Tim said, Apple's retail purpose has always been to enrich lives. So a huge thank you to the 65,000 Apple retail employees around the world whose passion, energy, and commitment. Apple Watch was designed to help people stay active, motivated, and connected so that they could live a better day. In fact, last quarter, Apple Watch grew over 50% compared to the previous year. This is incredible. The number one watch in the world. But those stories are so moving, and there's really no words to describe what it feels like to receive these notes. I'd like to thank everybody in the video for sharing their personal experience with all of us. And today, it's the most used heart rate monitor in the world. And we we're making enhancements to the heart rate app to give you more information. Now, you'll see your heart rate right on the watch face, so you can keep an eye on it with just a raise of the wrist. And the third thing we're doing is focused on heart rhythm. And that can cause problems. The most common form of serious arrhythmia is called atrial fibrillation, or AFib. And it affects tens of millions of people. In our initial studies, Apple Watch has been effective at surfacing irregular rhythms. So we're expanding that work. And today, we're announcing the Apple Heart Study. This study is being conducted in partnership with Stanford Medicine. And we're working closely with the FDA, and they've been great to work with. It will be available to all Apple Watch customers on September 19th. The next generation of Apple Watch. <laughs> Introducing Apple Watch Series 3, and it has cellular built in. This, this has been our vision from the very beginning, and we believe built-in cellular makes Series 3 the ultimate expression of Apple Watch. You can use maps and get directions, and the location for Find My Friend automatically switches to your watch when you're away from your phone. Because with Apple Watch Series 3 and Apple Music, you can stream 40 million songs on your wrist. It's really, really fast. Siri is quicker than ever, and thanks to the new processor, for the first time on Apple Watch, Siri can talk. And we've added a barometric altimeter. Rather than add an antenna, the display itself is the multi-frequency antenna for both LTE and UMTS. So instead, we integrated an electronic SIM, and it's a fraction of the size. 
The only difference is we extended the back crystal a mere 0.25 millimeters. That's as thin as two sheets of paper. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Deidre. This has been a very tough assignment, but you know me. I'm a team player. Yeah, that's you, Deidre. Give, give, give. Well, Series 3 comes in a wide variety of cases and bands. We have a beautiful new gold aluminum finish along with silver and space gray. For Apple Watch Nike Plus, we have exclusive new colors, and they're releasing a new version of their Nike Plus Run Club app with some wonderful colors across all of our bands that you just have to see in person. So that's Apple Watch Series 3, cellular, GPS, swim proof, 70% faster dual core processor, uh, barometric altimeter, all the features of Watch OS 4, and it still has all day battery life up to 18 hours across a mix of LTE. There's one with cellular at $399 and a version without cellular that has all the other great features at just $329. and availability will be September 22nd. Next up, I'd like to turn your attention to Apple TV. One that has the most stunning visuals ever that are ideal for the large TV screens that are coming into our living rooms. I am so excited to introduce Apple TV 4K. And to tell you all about them, let me show you. This is an image in 4K. It's got incredible detail. That's possible because 4K has four times the number of pixels as HD, or HDR. While 4K is about the number of pixels, HDR is about better pixels. Let me are. Look at the color, the details. Apple TV can do this because it supports the industry standard HDR10, as well as Dolby Vision, the best HDR experience. Here we are in Dubai, and even at night, you can see incredible details in the buildings and the cars on the road. And the new Apple TV isn't just slightly faster, it's remarkably faster. CPU performance is more than twice as fast as the current Apple TV, and graphics are more than four times faster. The best operating system for the living room. If you bought one of those movies in HD from iTunes, we're gonna automatically upgrade them to 4K HDR at no additional charge. You're really gonna love this feature. If your favorite team is playing on ESPN, it'll automatically appear right first in the up next list. And it ships just a week later. That is the new Apple TV 4K. Thank you, and I'd like to turn it back to Tim. Apple has always believed that technology infused with humanity could improve people's lives and change the world. Nothing else has become so essential or put so much power into so many people's hands than iPhone. Over the last 10 years, we've reimagined or invented numerous technologies to create just that experience. For the first time, you are actually touching the software instead of buttons. We changed the way people communicate with features like iMessage and FaceTime that allowed us all to connect in more meaningful ways. We used artificial intelligence to make our voices more powerful with Touch ID and our wallets with Apple Pay. iPhone put amazing, easy-to-use cameras into our hands becoming the most popular way to capture the images of our lives. We can create devices that are far more intelligent, far more capable, far more personal than ever before. And it gets started right now. I'm so excited to tell you all about the new iPhone 8 and the new iPhone 8 Plus. These, the design is all new. It has glass in both the front and the back. It comes in silver, space gray, and a beautiful new gold finish. The glass has a seven layer color process, making sure there's a beautiful, precise 
you. So microscopically sealed for water and dust resistance in iPhone 8 and a 5.5 inch in iPhone 8 Plus. Now Apple Retina displays are renowned for their incredible color accuracy. Along with the displays, iPhone 8 and 8 Plus have new stereo speakers as well. They're 25% louder than the speakers in iPhone 7, and they have a deeper bass too. We call it A11 Bionic. It's a 64-bit design, 4.3 billion transistors, six core. We're gonna geek out here for a bit because it is so awesome. It has two high-performance cores. They're 25% faster than the high-performance cores in the previous industry-leading A10 chip. It's, they're managed by our second-generation performance controller that now can use all six cores at once and can deliver up to 70% improvement in multi-threaded workloads. Graphics processing unit, or GPU, this is a three-core design. It's 30% faster than the graphics in the previous A10. And the GPU also is incredible for machine learning apps. And there's more to it. The A11 Bionic includes our first a new generation image signal processor, or ISP. And for the first time, to help reduce noise, it is hardware-enabled multi-band noise reduction. And people love taking photos. And customers send us their photos for our Shot on iPhone campaign. It's larger and faster. It provides 83% more light, and it provides more, it's more power efficient at the same time. iPhone 8 Plus has two new sensors in its dual camera. The wide angle camera has an F1.8 aperture and optical image stabilization. The telephoto camera has F2.8 aperture. This is beta, but it will ship with the iPhone 8 Plus. And here's how it works. When you compose a photo in the camera app using the portrait mode, the dual cameras in the ISP sense the scene and actually changes the lighting of the contours over your face. And that happens while you're composing the shot. <laughs> Whatever you want to shoot. Now these aren't filters. This is real-time analysis of the light on your subject's face. In fact, you can go in later after you shot a portrait mode photo into the Photos app and change the lighting effect to select which one you want to use on your photograph. Along with the ISP, we have an Apple-designed video encoder. This enables faster frame rates and higher quality video. Two million of them. And we analyze the two million tiles every second, looking for details like texture and edges to predict whether that tile has grass, sky, water, or movement in it. This video was shot on an iPhone in 4K. It's amazing. At 1080p HD, 240 frames a second. That's double the frame rate of previous. We custom tune each iPhone for augmented reality. The cameras are actually individually calibrated in the factory, and that makes a huge difference in the performance for AR. And AR greatly benefits from the new A11 Bionic chip. The CPU handles world tracking. The new ISP does real-time lighting estimation. This is the machines. In the game, Players battle their friends in real time, either online or around the table in the same room. They are able to experience games in an entirely new way. Since players are able to view the game from any angle, our content has to be incredibly detailed, while also allowing you to move in close to really appreciate the high visual fidelity. To gain a tactical advantage, just look how Andre is moving towards this cave, lining up his targets, this is something that would have been hard to do with Pinch and Zoom. It's spatial audio. If you go close to the action, the sound increases. And if a solid object gets between you and the action, the sound is occluded perfectly. And with the stereo speakers on the new iPhone, what you just saw is an amazing evolution in how games are played and experienced, thanks to the combination of AirKit and Metal 2 on the brand new iPhone. We once said that the future is wireless. It supports LTE Advanced for fast networking connections, Bluetooth 5.0 for the latest accessories. Of course, it supports our great beloved AirPods and the Beats X headphones that use our W1 chip. With its glass back, we're enabling the freedom of wireless charging. <laughs> what makes this possible is we're building into iPhone 8 and 8 Plus wireless charging with Qi, 
that she is the leading openness wireless charging standard in the work with iPhone 8. Many companies are offering Qi chargers, and those that are Qi certified should all work with iPhone 8. It is packed with innovative technologies from the glass and aluminum design to the Retina HD displays, the new A11 Bionic chip, and wireless charging. In these three configurations, starting at 32 gigabytes, we're really happy to tell you iPhone 8 is going to start with twice the capacity at 64 gigabytes and have a second one at 256 gigabytes. It will be $699. iPhone 8 Plus will have the same two configurations, 64 gigabytes, and it will be priced starting able to pre-order them starting this Friday on September 15th, on September 22nd, starting on September 19th. So that is iPhone 8. I'd like to turn it back to Tim. One more thing. The first iPhone revolutionized a decade of technology and changed the world in the process. Now, 10 years later, that will set the path for technology for the next decade. This is iPhone 10. It is the biggest leap forward since the original iPhone. And to tell you all about it, I'd like to invite Phil back up. Phil? I think you can imagine there are a lot of people at Apple that didn't get much sleep last night preparing for this. Is this, this is so exciting. It is beautiful to look at. It is incredible to hold. The display fits edge to edge, top to bottom. It goes into each corner where it follows the tight curve of the design. The band is made from a surgical grade stainless steel that's both durable and polishes to a beautiful finish. And look how the glass and the stainless steel fit, form a continuous surface from front to back. There has never been anything like it. it. Comes in two beautiful finishes, space gray and silver. Each has an incredible depth and a pearl essence to the color in the glass. It's called the Super Retina Display. To start with, the Super Retina display is 5.8 inches on the diagonal resolution. That's over 2.7 million pixels, 158 pixels per inch. Now, this is the highest resolution and pixel density ever in an iPhone. The Super Retina display uses OLED technology. Now, this is the first OLED display great enough to be in an iPhone. But they came with trade-offs in brightness and rich colors and color accuracy at least compared to our retina displays, and lives up to all that we expect from an iPhone display. Supports HDR in both the Dolby Vision and HDR10 formats. It has an incredible a million to one contrast ratio. It has the best color accuracy. It integrates our unique 3D touch technology right into the display. And like iPhone 8, it includes true tone. So let's start with the simplest thing. How do you wake up your iPhone 10? Well, certainly you can raise to wake just like before, but now you can also just tap on the screen. So now, when you want to go to the home screen, you simply swipe up from the bottom and you go home. What do you do? You simply swipe up from the bottom and you go home. It's that easy and that intuitive. It also works for multitasking. So if you're in an app and you want to multitask, you just swipe up from the bottom, you pause for a split second, and you're in multitasking. You can now press the side button in, which has been made larger. And once you press it in, you can just talk to Siri. The first iPhone, we led the way with multi-touch, and we created slide to unlock. And this protected the iPhone from turning on when you didn't want it to, like in your pocket. We invented Touch ID. We made it fast and easy to protect all your data and unlock your phone with just your fingerprint. With iPhone 10, your iPhone is locked until you look at it, and it recognizes you. Nothing has ever been simpler, more natural, and effortless. Face ID. 
To make Face ID possible took some of the most advanced technology we have ever created. And much of it is packed right up here into this tiny little area at the top of the display. We the true depth camera system, the front side camera, and a dot projector. And that's not all. There's also the proximity sensor, the ambient light sensor, the speaker and microphone, all packed into this true depth camera system area. It is amazing. Every time you glance at your iPhone 10, it detects your face with the flood illuminator, even in the dark. The dot projector projects out over 30,000 invisible IR dots to create a mathematical model of your face. And then we check that mathematical model against the one that we've stored that you set up earlier to see if it's a match and unlock your phone. Now, this all happens in real time. It all happens invisibly. You don't see these things going off. It's incredible. It just all works and all happens. And with that, they developed multiple neural networks to create Face ID. Neural engine. Yeah, this is a big deal. In our pockets, in our phones, is an A11 Bionic chip with a built-in neural engine. To... This is another example of the incredible collaboration between the hardware and software teams that's only possible at Apple. This is our highest density computing ever. It's a dual core design. It can perform over 600 billion operations per second. And it, but for all of us, it's just super easy and fun to use. And it tells you how to move your head around in the camera so Face ID can recognize your face. And that's it. You do that once when you set it up. And it adapts to you as your face. They've even gone and worked with professional mask makers and makeup artists in Hollywood to protect against these attempts to beat Face ID. These are actual masks used by the engineering team to train the neural networks to protect against them in Face ID. All the processing is done on iPhone 10 and not sent to a server. We require user attention to unlock. That means if your eyes are closed, you're looking away, it's not going to unlock. And the data for Touch ID has been one in 50,000 meaning that the chance that a random person could use their fingerprint to unlock your iPhone has been about one in 50,000, and it's been great. Statistics for Face ID. <laughs> in the population could look at your iPhone 10 and unlock it with their face as about one in a million. Hopefully you don't. Face ID also works with Apple Pay. So to pay for things, you just double tap the button on the side, you look at iPhone 10 to authenticate and hold it near the payment terminal to pay. It's that easy, fast, intuitive, simple. So Face ID, it's face, uh, face authentication for unlocking your iPhone and protecting your sensitive data. It uses the innovative True Depth camera system. It's trained with neural networks. It's easy to set up. It learns your face and it adapts to your face over time. It works with Apple Pay and it works with third-party apps. An emoji. These are animated emojis. An emojis track more than 50 facial muscle movements. They've been meticulously animated to create amazing expressiveness. You can just watch this, can't you? You said a little late. Where are you? You can pick from a dozen different animated emojis to share and express whatever you want to express to your family and friends. Looking at it and swiping up. And, you know, let's try that again. Ho, ho, ho. Let's uh, go to back up here and get right in. So here we are, and you see this expansive display. It's just a beautiful canvas for all of your content and your gestures. And I'm just going to go into the weather app here, edge to edge on this display. And your photos, of course, are just gorgeous as well. Let's jump into this one. Just amazing. You can just swipe down and get it control center from anywhere. It's that easy. Now let's take a look again at Face ID, because unlocking your phone is just amazingly intuitive. You just raise it look at it, and swipe right up to get started. I'm authenticated, and I can get in just like that. Now, the true depth camera behind Face ID isn't just about authentication. In fact, we've extended AR kit with some incredible new face tracking capabilities that provide a whole new class of augmented reality experiences. 
Now, we've been working on one with Snapchat. The tracking is just unreal. Let's check out this one. Now, look at the detail over the eyes, the incredible metallic reflections, the quality of the tracking, it's, it's just stunning. We also let you manipulate these in full screen. You can audition your favorites, and there's some really great ones, like the kitty cat, he's so expressive and ferocious. It's a happy puppy. Check out the physics in the ears. The pig. Take me to your leader. <laughs> Wait a minute, Craig. I am your leader. Let's wrap this thing up. <laughs> Is your first look at the new iPhone 10 and the amazing experience with the True Depth camera and Animoji. I think you're gonna love it. Thank you very much. iPhone 10 has dual 12, 12 megapixel sensors, with dual cameras, both a faster sensors, wider sensors, just like an iPhone 8. Does new color filters, new deeper pixels. There's an F1.8 aperture on the to take better photos and videos in low light. There's also a better quad LED two-tone flash that is twice the uniformity of light on our subjects. There's factory calibrated cameras, the new gyroscope, an accelerometer, the performance advantage of the A11 Bionic chip CPU, GPU, and ISP, and AR kit is tuned for iPhone 10. And it's true depth camera, it really delivers a breakthrough in the photos you can take for selfies. Because now with selfies, you can take portrait mode photos as well. And it also supports portrait lighting all through the front side true depth camera. <laughs> Amazing new A11 Bionic chip. We talked all about an iPhone 8, but it's worth hitting on the highlights again because there has never been anything like it. A 64-bit, six-core design, 4.3 billion transistors, two high-performance cores, four high-efficiency cores, our new second-generation performance controller that uses all six cores at once, our first Apple design graphics processing unit, video encoder that does real-time motion analysis while you're shooting video, the neural engine, and of course, the secure enclave to protect our face ID data. So I think it's important to tell you that we've increased it. Yes, it lasts. Yes, wireless. Just like iPhone 8, iPhone 10 is also built for a wireless world. It has Qi charging through the glass back, and it will work with the Qi charging devices, like the ones we mentioned earlier from Mophie and Falcon. It will also work with third-party Qi devices that are Qi certified. It's a mat that you place your iPhone 8 or iPhone 10 down, and it just starts to charge. And there's a beautiful new interface. If it doesn't stop there, you can place your Series 3 Apple Watch down on it, and it starts to charge as well. And you can place your AirPods with the optional new wireless charging case on it, and it starts to charge as well. They all charge. Yeah. We're going to be working with the Qi standards team to incorporate these benefits into the future of the standards to make wireless charging better for everyone. It is the future of the smartphone. It is packed with many innovative features, <laughs> huge list, we won't go through them all, and they add up to a new, better experience. The team works hard to make iPhone 8 and iPhone 10 in the most environmentally friendly manner possible. They have arsenic-free display glass, mercury-free displays. They're BFR-free, PVC-free, beryllium-free. 64 gigs and 256 gigabytes. They'll be priced $9.99. You can order it starting on October 27th, and they begin to ship on November 3rd. So this shipping this year. So this is our lineup for the holidays. Now every year we say it's a great lineup for the holidays, and it is. 
but this year is really special. It starts with iPhone SE, iPhone 6S, iPhone 7, the new generation iPhone 8, and the futuristic iPhone 10. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.